로마에서 미국 외교관으로 일하던 로버트는 의사로부터 아내 캐서린이 난산이 될 거라는 전화를 받고 곧바로 병원으로 향합니다. 병원에 도착한 로버트를 기다리고 있던 건한 신부. 로버트는 신부에게 아이는 유산되었고 캐서린은 이 사실을 모르고 있으며 더 이상 아이를 가질 수 없다는 말을 듣게 됩니다. 이 상황을 받아들이지 못하는 로버트를 보고 있던 신부는 같은 시각에 태어난 사내 아이가 있는데 아이의 산모가 죽어 고아가 됐으니 모든 사실을 알면 충격받을 캐서린을 위해서 이 아이를 몰래 입양하라고 제안합니다. 로버트는 캐서린을 위해 신부의 제안을 받아들였고 캐서린과 함께 그 아이를 친아들처럼 키웁니다. 3개월 뒤 능력을 인정받아 대사가 되어 영국으로 온 로버트와 그의 가족. 로버트는 대사가 사망해 자신이 잘된 기분이라며 탐탁치 않았지만 캐서린이 옆에서 케어를 해줬고 그런 캐서린이 고마웠던 로버트는 2년이란 시간이 흐르는 동안 캐서린과 데미안을 위해 열심히 노력하며 일을 합니다. 
Send me the bill out. Cover the charges. All right, sir. Let's just say that you owe me one. Excuse me, sir. Uh, Father Brennan is waiting downstairs at reception. Who? Father Brennan, the priest from Rome. Hmm. What do you say what it was about? Uh, he called several times yesterday. He said it was personal and urgent. Father Brennan. Robert Thorne. What can I do for you? We haven't much time, Mr. Thorne. Time for what? We must accept the Lord Jesus Christ as our savior. Accept him now. Ask for his forgiveness. Take Holy Communion, Mr. Thorne. Drink of his blood. Eat of his flesh. For only when he is within you can you defeat the devil's son. I'm sorry, Father. I, uh... Accept responsibility, Mr. Thorne. You did it. You let them do it. I think there's been some mistake, Father. If you'll excuse me, He's I'll... killed before. He'll kill again. He'll kill until everything that's yours is his. Forgive me, Father, but uh, I really should get back to work. Sorry. I was at the hospital, Mr. Thorne. The night your son was born. I participated. I witnessed the birth. Beg of you, please, Mr. Thorne. What do you want? I want to save you, Mr. Tom. So Christ will save me and rescue me from eternal damnation. What do you know about my son? Everything. I saw its mother. You saw my wife? No. I saw its mother. OK, that's enough. Sergeant, his mother is a jackal. Yes, sir. Everything all right, Mr. Ambassador? Yes, Travis. Will you please escort this gentleman out of the building? Yes, sir. You must accept the Lord Jesus each and every day, Mr. Thorne. Come on, Father. Drink his blood. It is the only way, Mr. Thorne. Something that I think I Excuse me. Yes, Mrs. Horton. Uh, Mrs. Baylock is here. Good afternoon, Mr. Thorne. <clears throat> if I may say, I realize this must be a difficult time for you. I'm genuinely sorry for your loss. But you know, for me, caring for children has been the joy of my life. I've, I've really been so lucky. I, I love my job. I've been raising children for almost 40 years now, Mrs. Thorne. I helped my own mother raise my brothers and sisters. I was the eldest, and I, I guess the habit sort of stuck. I'm not the parent, and I never forget that. But I am an extra pair of hands, and a responsible substitute when you're out of the house. He's beautiful. Mrs. Baylock? Where's Damien? I asked you to have him dressed and ready. I'm afraid he's feeling a bit under the weather. He was fine a minute ago. I was concerned about him last night. He didn't sleep well. I think he might be coming down with something. And it's such a long ceremony. I, I really don't think it's a good idea. Mrs. Baylock, have my son dressed and in the car in five minutes. What's wrong, sweetie? Hey.
Master of the house. Mrs. Baylock, what is this? Sir. This dog. Oh, we found him outside. Who told you you could bring a dog into this house? I'm sorry, sir. Did he scare you? That's not the point, Mrs. Baylock. But He'll be a good watchdog, sir. Mrs. Baylock, when and if we need a dog, I'll pick one out myself. So, how's the new nanny working out? She seems good, uh, but sort of the last one. I know the two of you were there when the other girl, with your kids. I hope they're okay. They're fine, really. Yeah, they're fine. <laughs> Damien. Damien? What's the matter? Those other kids didn't want to play with you? They're afraid. <laughs> Let's go look at the birds. to the zoo with all the other children. There's something about Damien. He's so far away. Something's not right. Tomorrow, Mr. Tom. One o'clock, Bishop's Park, by the bridge. Just five minutes, and you'll never see me again. Your wife's in grave danger. She'll die if you don't come. Jews return to Zion. When the comet rips the sky, when that Holy Roman Empire rises, then you and I must die. From the eternal sea he rises, creating armies on either shore, turning man against his brother. For man exists no more. You said my wife was in danger. Go to the town of Megiddo. In the walled city of Israel, there lives a man named Bubenhagen. He alone can describe how the child must die. What child are you talking about? Your son, Mr. Thorne, son of the devil. I came here because you said my wife was in danger. She's pregnant. It's impossible. That's what they told you, Mr. Thorne. You will not allow the child to be born. You'll kill it while it slumbers in the womb. You'll kill the unborn child, and then you'll kill your wife. And then? 
when he's certain to inherit all that you have, then, Mr. Thorne, then, then he'll kill you. That's enough. He has to die, Mr. Thorne. You must act now, or all will be lost. Go to the town of Megiddo. Hmm? See Bugenhagen before it's all too late. Now, you listen to me. I don't know who you are or what you want, but you stay away from my family. Do you understand? I don't want to see or hear from you ever again. You'll see me in hell, Mr. Thorne. We'll spend eternity together. Stop that. Damien. Mrs. Baylor! What's wrong? That noise is driving me crazy. Mrs. Baylock! Yes, ma'am. Could you please take him out of here? Come along, Damien. Mummy's not feeling well. We'll go take a walk. We have a problem, Robert. I'm pregnant. What? I'm having an abortion. <laughs> Kate, listen, we should talk about this. No, I am not having any more children. I want it out of me. How is she? She'll recover, but she has a concussion, broken collarbone, and some internal bleeding. Internal bleeding? That's our biggest worry at the moment. She's pregnant. I'm afraid not. She lost the child. Yes. You see anything unusual? <sighs> no. Look here, here. Look, see? There. I know, I know. I, I, um, I didn't think much of it either at first. Uh, thought it was just a bad roll of film, but then it happened again here. Is it? That's on another roll. And then again on the, on the digital files. That's that's digital. That's another camera. And Father Brennan. Look at this. Here. And here's one I snapped ten days later. Same thing. Yeah. 
only much, much more pronounced on this one, actually making contact with the body. The rest, of course, is history. I know. I didn't get it either. Which is why I started digging. The coroner's report showed that uh, Brennan was riddled with cancer. He was high on morphine most of the time. He was uh, injecting himself two or three times a day. He knew he was dying. Yeah, apparently. He said he wanted to be forgiven by Christ. Apart from one small item here on the inside of the left thigh. Yeah. What is it? That's three sixes. 666. A tattoo? No. The biopsy showed that that was a birthmark. Come with me. 제닝슨은 로버트를 브레넌 신부가 살았던 장소로 데려갑니다. These are all pages from the Bible, thousands of them. Every inch of wall space is covered. Yeah, so crucifixes. Hundreds of crucifixes. The first thing I found was his diary. I mean, it's not so much about him as about you. And it's a little obsessive. Um, notes on whenever you left the house, where you went, which restaurants you ate at, what your speaking engagements were. I see that. Yes, sir. You'll see that the last entry says that you were scheduled to meet him in Bishop's Park the same day that he died. However, the really interesting items are here. If we're ever going to get to the bottom of this, this is where we begin. The first is a clipping from some astrology magazine, a report of an unusual phenomenon. It's a, a comet that took the shape of a glowing star, much like the Star of Bethlehem 2,000 years ago, only this one happened a little closer to home. On the European continent, just five years ago, June the sixth, to be exact. I assume that date rings a bell. Yes. Then you'll recognise the second clipping, which is a birth announcement from a newspaper in Rome. Again, five years ago, sixth day, sixth month. Was your son born at six a.m.? <laughs> My son is dead. I don't know who's son I'm raising. Well, if you don't mind, Mr. Thorne, I'd like to try and help you find that out. No. It's my problem. No. No, 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 please, please. You're wrong. You see, it's also my problem. You see, when I first came into this room with the police, I took a number of photographs and uh, I happened to catch a reflection of myself in this mirror here. That's rather an unusual effect, isn't it? All right. Let's go. Non è questo. L'ospedale di Cappuccini? It's not it. No, oh, era vecchio di mattone. Me lo ricordo bene. It's the right address. Ah, può essere per l'incendio molti anni fa. Cosa è successo? C'è stato un incendio terribile e tutto il vecchio ospedale è andato e bruciato. Apparently there was a terrible fire. The old hospital burned down. Uh, cinque anni fa, molti morti, eh? Five years ago, molti morti. Many dead. Scusa, sorella, mi puoi aiutare? The fire started in the Olaf records in the basement. It went up like a torch, shot up the stairwells. The third floor became an inferno. The maternity ward. There was a priest, um, a very tall man. He was in charge. Spiletto. Yes. 
That's his name. That's him. Do you know where he is now? 스플레토 신부가 있는 위치를 알게 된두 사람은 곧바로 신부가 지내고 있는 수도원으로 향합니다. Father Spilletto. My name's Robert Thorne. We met in Rome. You remember me? There was a child. from I'm afraid it's no use you said you knew his mother where is she now you confess to them now confess to me Symmetry from the Etruscan time. Grab this and danger. Where is this place? Robert. Yeah. Look at the dates. June the sixth, five years ago. Mother and child. <coughs> mother was a... the other one <웃음> 캐서린의 사망 소식을 듣고 바로 돌아가고 싶었지만 자신의 진짜 들이 악마 숭배자 들에게 태어나 자마자 살해되었고 지금 있는 데미안이 악마의 자식이라는 것등 브레넌 신부가 했던 이야기들이 전부 진실이었다는 걸 알게 된 로버트는 돌아가기 전 브레넌 신부가 말했던 악마 퇴치자인 부겐하겐을 찾아갑니다. 
Bogenhagen. The little priest, Brennan. Is he dead yet? Yes. We have work to do. Come. It must be done on a hallowed ground, in the grounds of a church. The blood must be spilled on the altar of God. Each knife must be buried up to the hilt, and then set so as to form the sign of a cross. The first knife is the most important, for it extinguishes physical life and sets the center of the cross. The subsequent knives extinguish spiritual life and radiate outwards. This is a child we're talking about. A small boy who I've raised as my own son. He's not your son, he's a beast, a beast. He's evil incarnate, now don't you forget that. What well, if you're wrong, what if he is? I'm not wrong. How do I know that? Look, he bears a birthmark. A sequence of sixes. So says the Bible, as do all the apostles of Satan. He doesn't have it. He must have it. I bathe him. I know every inch of his body. If the sign isn't visible, then it must be hidden beneath the hair. Remove that. You'll find the number. What about the woman, the nanny? Uh, she's on post of hell. She'll die before permitting this. Walk away from this. What the fuck do you think you was gonna say? Why else have we come here? She's a drunk, an insane, delusional drunk, like every other religious fanatic thinks that arcane scripture justifies killing. What about me? What about? What about you? the photographs? What if I'm next? Listen to yourself. Do you have any idea what you're saying? You're asking me to stab a child. A little boy. Can't you see how insane that is? It's not real, Keith. There is no devil, there is no God, there is only here and now and life. And that is something I would never take away from any man, certainly not my own son. Well, if he won't, I will.앞으로 어떤 일이 일어날지 모르지만 눈앞에서 제닝스의 죽음을 본 로버트는 마음을 단단히 먹으며 집으로 향합니다. 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. Please, Daddy, don't. Stop! President, your car is ready, sir. Jim Gajiyonga, Omen Yosmida.